let's talk about how to run Facebook ads to your chatbot with uh, right here in Active Chat. And so there's two components that we have up here. The first is our ads manager, and the second is our actual our, our chatbot builder. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to in the chatbot we're going to edit the default block here in our bot. And what that does is that every time they actually respond to us, we're going to have it go through a filter and have it check to see if they said particular questions or, or, or they you know, said particular answers or they responded in a particular way so that we can respond appropriately. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right in here and let's just hop in and hop into our ads manager because I think that's the easiest thing that we'll do. So uh, easiest way to start with. So let's go to messenger campaign and you guys don't need to hear me click. I'm sorry, it's like right near the microphone. It probably is really annoying, to be frank. Um, so let's go in right here, and then we'll skip the ad set for now. We're going to skip the ad for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, and we're going to create a messages campaign. Now, what's really great about this is that when you create and run a messages campaign, you get a few advantages, right? And the first advantage that you get is that Facebook knows who is hanging out on Messenger. Facebook knows who has Messenger installed. Facebook knows who, I mean, they, they have all this, this data, right? And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna look for people who are most likely to send messages, right, through Facebook Messenger. And so not only are they kind of helping you algorithmically, but you also are going to be competing in a bidding, you know, an auction that's not with conversions or not with regular clicks or not with traffic, right? Not with engagement because you, not everybody runs messages campaigns. In fact, very few people do. And so this is something that you'll be able to, you, you'll just, you'll, you won't have to spend as much, right? And, um, and obviously the last thing is that you can go directly, like we'll show you in this video, directly into the chatbot. Um, without having to click anywhere, without having them to comment anywhere uh, as well. So let's just create a new ad set and let's just call this the training ad set and then let's just create an ad called training and we'll just walk through this really quickly. Um, let's go to guided creation so that you guys can see it. All right, so if we go in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click messages, right? So we've got messages, all right, let's continue. So now what you'll see here in message destination, that's the next thing that we're gonna uh, you know, choose here. And you'll see that we can either do click to messenger or we can do sponsored message. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do click to messenger, but I'll take a minute to talk about what these are because click to messenger is essentially what we're doing is in, instead of having them click and go to a website where they have to opt into you know the chatbot or instead of going to have to you know having to comment and then responding to the comment um, instead of doing all of that what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace all of it and they're gonna click the ad and then they'll have the opportunity to essentially talk right to the bot right so it goes straight to messenger whereas sponsored message is actually once you already have people in your chatbot if you want to put an ad in there um, you can actually run an ad to them in their inbox, right? That they already have to have been uh, part of your, you know, of your subscribers. You also have an opportunity to send them to the WhatsApp business, which is which is just kind of cool. So uh, obviously, Facebook owns WhatsApp, and so they recently integrated, um, you know, WhatsApp into the ad platform, and they also integrated it and opened up their API. So this is just something that's new that you can do, and it says that it's going to open right there in WhatsApp, and so this is a. Uh, it says that it's going to be shown to people more likely to message in WhatsApp. And once again, Facebook has all this data. But for this intents and purposes, we're going to stick to right here to Messenger. Now, you can use any of your audiences, okay? You can use, you know, you can run your, your, your Facebook ad to whatever audience that you want. Let's just say we created this lookalike here. And let's just keep it like that because you're targeting, you know, this is for a whole nother video and that's really industry and product specific. So we're just going to skip right past that. And then we're going to talk about placements, right? And so let's go in here into edit placements and you'll see that at the beginning, it actually puts in all of the different locations where you can show your ad. And Facebook owns a lot of things and they have a lot of you know, places at their disposal to be able to um, display them. Primarily, you'll notice that this audience network, though, is not um, 
it's not selected so that's actually kind of nice so you don't have to unclick that and you can decide if you want to have your ad placed on Instagram sometimes I believe they as the time of this recording I believe they fixed it where if you click on the ad it'll open automatically in messenger but that was a big challenge um, with people and, and similarly you may want to just make a decision of whether or not your ad makes sense to show up in the Facebook marketplace you know that's just something where um, I, I may only make that decision if I think that my ad is going to be you know is going to look good next to all of the things in you know in Facebook marketplace all of the you know uh, Grocery, or excuse me, garage sale stuff, and all of the you know different um, lower end items that are on Facebook Marketplace. If my product is going to fit in or be a good alternative, well, then I might choose to do that. But otherwise, I'm going to take these off, right? I I don't even like to go on Instagram unless I'm going to be targeting a specific type of audience, right? Um, so they just kind of keep all that in mind. Now. Um, you can go in here into budget, and obviously that's something for another, you know, another video as well because you can choose to do a dollar a day, or you can do all the way up to twenty, thirty, you know, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars a day, whatever it is. And I, and I don't recommend that. What I'm, you know, you probably want to do it a little differently in terms of splitting up your ad sets and you know, creating a variety of, um, you know. Um, split test and stuff like that if you're going to be running a larger budget but your budget can be uh, whatever it is that you choose to do now let's hop over here into the ad because this is where this is where actually things get a little different and so you'll notice here that if I'm gonna run it into my news feed I can do a variety of things I can put it on the carousel I can do a single image or video I if I if I can and I'm gonna be doing a picture or just a straight you know um, link uh, ad. I like to use carousels because it gives people the opportunity to be able to swipe left and right uh, and it gives them you know more chances to be able to click on something so I always like to do carousels when I can. Now you can set up your ad just the normal way you know up here here's the text at the top okay and then you know you can select your images there and you can uh, you know, choose you know, whatever images that you want and so you'll see here, what I want to do though, is at the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to Messenger Setup. And this is where, I, where things get, get kind of fun. And so it says that I can either create my own welcome experience or I can use my bot's get started screen. And this basically will go, you know, you can use your, your just your welcome screen if you want to. But what I like to do is obviously create my own experience and you you know you can you can use the standard one but you probably want to create things that are a little more specific and a little more guided than just that so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click custom right I'm going to click custom welcome message and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create this this intro to the conversation okay now you'll notice up here it allows me to build it and uh, let's put training up here and I have two options I can either build it visually or I can use JSON now here's the thing a lot of other chatbot gurus will tell you to run JSON and they'll do you know I, I don't I will never encourage you to do that it's just it's too limited there's too many ways to make mistakes if one thing is off it doesn't really tell you that things are off so uh, I like to use the visual builder because it gives me a lot more flexibility frankly it's a lot easier and um, I, I'll show you how to connect it into your bot here as well now when I do it over here on the right you can see I can have text only I can have text and image or I can even use a video now at this point I'm so close to getting them subscribed to my bot, right? I'm so close. They've clicked my ad and literally all they need to do is they need to hit this I'd like to learn more button or you can change it up to whatever it is, right? All they need to do is just click here and they're subscribed. Like literally that's all they need to do and you've got them subscribed to your chat bot. You can now follow up with them now. You can get that information from them, right? You can add them into a custom audience. You can do lots of different things and all it takes for them is this click of a button. So within two clicks, we've just showed you, they click on the ad and then all they have to do is just click on this button here, right? Let's just select an image. Um, that's a funny one. Let's do this one. So all they have to do is just click on this button right here and and they're subscribed and so we like to give instructions in here you know give instructions or or in here we like to put you know 
um, this should be aligned with the ad, with Facebook ad, right? It should be like similar to what they said or what they clicked on. And then here we should put, you know, put some instructions. You know, uh, at the top we want to give some in some instructions like click the button, click the button below, or click the, you know, click which one you are, you you know, which one you want below. And what's cool is I can even add multiple quick replies. So if I want to do here, I can do, you know, option two. Now this is where I set it up here in Facebook. Okay, this is where it gets set up right here in Facebook. Now. What I need to do though, is I need to connect it on the other end to my chatbot. So if I go over here, right, and I actually click my default, my default skill, what I need to do is I need to make sure that I add a switch block in here. And so I'm gonna add this, this switch uh, block right in here. And what I'm gonna ask it for is I'm gonna check it, I'm gonna, this is basically checking, the, you know, the user's data, right? Checking their information, it's like a, it's like a gatekeeper. And so what I want to look for is was the last user input, right? Was the last user input, click here, right? Um, and if it was, then what we're going to say is you clicked the left button, right? Because we'll see over here oops, that, that that was the left button. And then if they click option two, Okay, we can add another option. So if we go in here, and if what they said was option two, then I want you to say this. And you clicked the right button. Right? And so this is just very basic stuff, right? But this is just showing you how you can connect these two. And then what it says is, you know, I have other options if I want to send them to, um, you know, if they didn't say click here or they didn't say option two, we have somewhere else to send them, okay? So let's run this and let's hop back and we've got to edit. So we've got this and we're gonna hit finish, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I need to make sure that the page is the correct one, right? So it's actually, that's not the correct page. It's actually on this page here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop down and we're gonna create that message again. And so we're gonna say, select image. Let's say they use that one. And let's say, um, click the button below to try it, right? And then let's say the first one was supposed to say, click here. And then the second one, is supposed to say option two. Okay, so now I've got that right here. Here's what it's going to look like. Now let's go ahead and let's preview this in Messenger. All right. Okay, so if I click on the on the on the ad, right? Here's what would happen. If I click if I click on the ad and I say click here, it'll say, oh, I clicked. The right button. So now you'll see here that it connect. It connects, right? I should have actually. I think I connected them to the wrong one. <laughs> but you'll see here that it'll actually connect right to the the ones that I um, that I put right here on the switch block. And so let's try that again. Let's run this so that we can make sure that it's updated. And if it says, all right, option two should now say you hit the right button. I clicked the right button. I did, I did, everything works now. So now what I can do is if I run this, okay, they're gonna click the ad, it'll look like this, and then they'll come right into wherever I want them to go. And I can send them, I can say this, I can send them somewhere. Right, I can send them off to you know to somewhere. I can start a, an intro sequence. I can do lots of things after they come through the ad and the chatbot. And the nice thing is, is that all it took was literally two clicks, and they are are subscribed.